You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. The Silver Dollar Fairgrounds are buzzing with rides and fun. Lots of people out there. The weather is pretty pleasant, whether it's date night or just taking the kids out there to get some funnel cakes. I'm mm. hungry. All that fair food sounds really good. It sure does. A lot of calories, but you know what? The fair only comes here once a year, so uh, why not? Let's check in with meteorologist Patrick Wright to see how the weather is looking. Weather-wise, it's looking pretty good. Now it is a little cool, so you may have to, you know, Choose some warmer treats this evening uh, for at the fair. This, but when it comes to the weather, it's other than that, it's looking pretty good and pretty comfortable out there. We do have a few thick clouds in some places, but most places this is looking from Florida, but most places are looking rather nice out there. Just some mid to high level clouds, except this one spot right here where we have some mountains starting to squeeze out a little bit of moisture in the atmosphere. Now we'll see some clouds building in over the course of the night as this cold front passes. But we will have some possible possible mountain showers arriving for tomorrow as another cold front arrives. But we are looking at a pleasant Memorial Day as that will kick off a warming trend for next week. Temperatures this evening getting down to the upper 50s to lower 60s across the valley. So some of those clouds could help insulate us and keep the heat trapped near the surface, keeping us a little warmer. But when it comes to the mountains, if you do have any plans this evening to go camping, well, the upper third upper or lower 40s, I should say, to the upper 40s will be possible in some places So possibly bring some extra blankets. But when it comes to tomorrow, here's what we have. Upper 70s to mid 70s across the valley. The farther south you are, the warmer it will be, given most of the clouds that we will see will be concentrated in the north at first, then towards the slopes of the Sierra as the as that system passes on through, bringing some cool temperatures and even chance some, for some showers to the mountain areas. So if, again, if you are heading out camping tomorrow, keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to clouds tonight, we'll see those passing through this evening, clearing out for briefly tomorrow morning before the next system begins to roll on. And this will bring the best chance for showers to a good chunk of our mountain areas scattered at best for most places. So you will have some showers at times, but not a consistent rainfall over the throughout the mountains and in the valley. The valley remaining dry, even and then especially remaining dry, heading into the early Sunday morning hours, and then we'll see that drying pattern continue into Sunday afternoon and even into Monday. But when it comes to the wind, here's what we're watching: gusts up to about 30 miles per hour, if not in being the isolated case. Otherwise, most places 15 miles per hour this evening. We'll see those winds return tomorrow, gusting up to about 25 miles per hour by the evening as that next round of as that next system begins to roll on through. But when it comes to hiking in the mountains, here's what we have. You no know, temperatures getting into the upper 60s with some clouds at times in the higher elevations. We'll see those rain showers at times. But then when we see the temperatures in the valley, here's what we have in the upper 70s for Sunday and Monday begin or Sunday or Saturday and Sunday, I should say, with temperatures cooling off or warming up, I should say, down to the lower 80s for a good chunk of the valley. And then that warming trend continues into the middle of next week. Some places topping off in the mid 90s, but then we may see another system roll in towards the end of next week, lowering temperatures back down to right around average for this time of year in the mid 80s.